All right, so today we are going to be taking a good look at this smartwatch, which was sent to me for this review. And it doesn't have a bunch of bells and whistles. It does have some really neat features like a call accept, call reject. You can receive all of your notifications. So it does have an audio feature that you can turn on and off at your leisure. And it also does have several sports modes with pre-programmed uh, calorie counter and distance counter so that you can keep track of your calories burned and your distance that you've walked. So I want to bring you in real close, give you a whole bunch of information so that you are well informed when you make your decision as to purchase this watch or not. So let's check it out. All right. So first I want you to take a look at the band and the band on my wrist is, it's pretty short. I mean, it fits, but uh, I've got probably an average size wrist and uh, I've just about used up all of my notches on here. Not a big deal to be quite honest with you. I just wanted you to notice that it was not one of the longer wristbands, but you can always purchase a new wristband and uh, make that one fit. These just pop off and uh, the new new one can just slip on. So I'm going to bring you in close here and and, uh, we're going to take a really good look at this. All right, so one of the first things we want to do is we want to get in here into our settings and we want to make sure that our screen stays on longer than what it is so that it doesn't shut off during our review here. So I'm going to put that at 30 seconds, check mark that so we should be good. So from the home screen, if we do a quick swipe here, we're going to get a quick menu of the last apps that we've used on the phone. It's called the common app menu. And for example, if we hit that top one there, we're going to go to our screen time and uh, we can change that again, uh, 30 seconds, 40 seconds, whatever we want to put it at. Uh, I just want to set it so that it's not going to go off during this review. Uh, so we can do that once more time. You can see there's a quick menu of the last apps that we've used. We swipe that back. And if we swipe from the top to the bottom, we're going to get all of our menus here for our uh, brightness. We can dim that down to save our battery or we can put it all the way up. And the brighter you've got it, the more battery it's going to use, of course. Then you've got your Bluetooth and your thumbs up and your timers. And you also see here that there is a music player. So if you was to push that connected to your watch connected to your phone, you'll be able to listen to your music through your watch. And then you've also got these other features here within the app here on your settings menu. You can personalize this any way that you want. When we go back to our home screen, if we swipe up, this is going to be all of our messages. And from this screen right here, we can delete messages from the watch, but not your phone. So uh, you can keep that cleaned up. And again, you can keep your uh, your storage at a minimum. Swipe from the right side to the left. This is called our favorites. Now I'm not wearing the watch right now and it's going to tell me you're not wearing your watch so it's not able to check your heart rate, your blood pressure, your blood oxygen level, anything like that. So, uh, But we, what we can do on this favorites menu is that we can add whatever we want to to the, that favorite menu. So here's our activity or our pedometer tracker. So this is going to give you your steps for the day. It's going to give you your distance, your calories, burned. It's also going to track it for the entire week. Now I've only had it on today, but you can see that I've taken about 4,000 steps today uh, since I've had the watch on. So uh, really nice to have that pedometer. Everybody likes the pedometer and it is going to connect to your uh, to the app on your phone. And we're going to take a look at that here in just a minute. But I do want to show you once again that you can add anything to that favorite menu that you like. There's We're going to put the weather up there. You can see that today is a scorcher. You can see that it does have a three-day forecast on there. So those are just your basic features on the watch. So we're also going to go ahead and take a look at the app. Okay, so the first thing that you're going to want to do is download the RD Fit app. And uh, when you open up the app, that's what it, this is what it looks like here. And the first thing I want you to notice here is uh, the watch face market. When you click that more button, you, you get, get tons, tons of different, different watch, watch faces, faces that you can choose from. from. So, so you, you've, you've got pointers, pointers which, which is going to be your analog clock, clock or, or you can go to digit, which is going to be your digital clock, or you can customize the face of your watch if you want to. So on the digit, we're just going to go something that's going to be easy to read here. And we're going to click that. I did want to show you the phone and the watch downloading at the same speed and then once that is complete it's going to go ahead and install here and we'll we'll watch that work it's only going to take a second to do it just like that that's your new watch face all right so uh, we're going to go back here and um, go back to that home page and on the home page you can see your step counter your sleep your sports mode your blood pressure blood oxygen and all of these it's just going to track it for an extended period of time when you click the device down at the bottom again there's your your watch market you can choose the notifications that you want to be sent to your watch photo you can find the device now watch when you find the device and it vibrates I'm not sure if you can now you can turn audio on and have it make a noise so that you can find it 
You can personalize this by putting in all of your information, your name, your height, your weight, the step goal that you want to have, and then it's going to notify you when you reach that step goal. Again, it's a really nice little watch here. Uh, it's not too big and bulky. Uh, it's going to be great for either a male or female. A lot of nice little features on there. Again, completely customizable to your preferences, to your liking. You set it up how you want, change it whenever you want. It's a great little watch.